So I figured up my setup a little bit. You can see what's going on here a little bit better. Um, so that's good. So this is Daedalus' loom. Um, the loom itself is a big part of this story. It's something that Cersei got from Daedalus when she was able to leave her island, and it's something that her and Odysseus end up connecting over. It's something, it's like a, a flag for Cersei, the opposite of a red flag for Cersei when Odysseus is, is thoughtful and, and thinking about the loom in a way that other men who have visited her island definitely haven't. I'm trying to make the what the tapestry is, which is something I've entirely created, um, more clear. And I feel like I don't really want to say what it is yet because I am struggling with it. It's so, so, so small. And I'm trying to use it to tell a part of the story. And I feel like if I tell whoever is watching this, then they're gonna say, oh, I see it, and not be able to like evaluate if it's actually successful. Not that anybody's going to say anything to me, but, um, so I, I don't wanna give away what it's meant to be quite yet. Uh, and I hope that I'll just be able to paint it clear. As I'm editing, I feel like this pink blob is watching me. He has a head and eyes and he looks displeased. Ooh. I guess I don't have a lot to say in this video. You can see that my camera angle location change has helped to see that like what's actually going on in the painting a little bit better. Um, I think that his foot is looking pretty successful and obviously I'm going in here and doing some deeper tones in the floorboards and elsewhere to give it some depth. I want to match this one on the very left, that's the first one that I did, and kind of as I'm painting each part, I'm looking back at that to see if it looks cohesive, and I'm also open to changing the first one, this one on the left, if needed. I have already a little bit of like skin work. There's still some things too that I need to change on there, but I am looking back and forth to try to make sure that it is making sense. Now over here on the painting I'm working on, I am kind of just building up Daedalus's loom. It's fading into the background with all of this other detail, so I'm trying to just figure out what the base might look like and what I need to do to make it. Like you can tell something in the back here is not right with the perspective or whatever the hell. Um, so I'm trying to figure it out. No, it's my nose. With how small this is, there's no way I can paint each individual uh, like thing of thread, and yet I am feeling like I need to, and so they're not thread, they're apparently they're ropes.
Not my nose again. I added this lion into this bottom, I don't know, bottom eighth part of the frame or whatever because it seemed empty and I didn't know what to do. Uh, so I tried to fill it in and then I had the idea of the flowers spilling over it and then we had both. We were just going with both and I don't know that I really like it but we're going to try to make it work. We gotta put this corner back in the corner behind the loom.
after I use a color, um, I kind of hunt around and see where else needs that color. Sometimes I make a guess and it's a bad guess, like with this eye situation right here. But also sometimes your mistakes can force you to make something better when you weren't planning to because you were lazy. Trying to hit key points that like the light might hit and it is hard because it's both sides of the room but it's also sunset-ish but you know her ankles and some various points on him. Even if we're not going to go that bright as a highlight it's good to have it to start and tone it down as you go. Subscribe so you'll be notified when the next video is ready.